sir. Hey, Officer Lyons, what do you think of... What do you think of Bitcoin, Officer Lyons? Come on, man. Get the picture. Go around me. Let me pull up. I don't know what's about to go down, but we got the whole Geek Squad. One, two, and three. It looks like they've called in some backup with Comcast. Looks like we might have some signal connections today. I'm not too certain, guys. Welcome to episode nine of What the Bitcoin. I'm gonna try and get an interview here. Hey, I film a documentary about Bitcoin, man. Where are the three vans of Geek Squad headed? Uh. Damn it. We missed our opportunity, guys. You didn't want to... We don't know where they're going now. I just saw a huge group of uh, people that looked like they were potentially owners or managers of this apartment complex that I'm currently ducking through here. Pack right there, guys. Here we go. Let's, let's ask. Hey guys, guys, real quick, I just, you guys are a large group of, it looks like there's something going on here, you know? I, I film a documentary and I'd just like to ask you guys a couple questions, you know, you have a camera, I, I apologize. Apologize for interrupting, okay? Yeah. Pardon the passion, okay? Thank you. Really big fail, they're actually here for some sort of a uh, crime scene. Let me ask this guy real quick, Amazon. Hey man, can I ask you a couple questions real quick about Bitcoin for my documentary? Do what? Can I ask you a couple questions real quick for my documentary, man? Sure. What do you think about Bitcoin, Cameron? What is that? Bitcoin? Yeah. A cryptocurrency? Never heard anything about it. Never heard of any, anything about it, Cameron? No. Not at all. What is it? Uh, it's a new emerging financial market. Okay. What I will say is uh, recent news of Bitcoin, Elon Musk announced today that any purchases for his cars that are made with Bitcoin, he will not cash that Bitcoin back into the fiat currency relative to the country where the vehicle was purchased. Really? How does that make you feel now about Bitcoin? Uh, I'm not sure, man. I really am, I'm not sure. I'm just, I don't, I'm not really sure. I'm not really, I'm not informed with it. So I, I really can't give you an answer until, yeah. until I'm fully informed. Okay. Um, but I will definitely uh, look into it. Look, it seems interesting. Yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'd like to get your information and I can follow up with you in maybe two weeks and see how you feel about it then. Okay. Would that would that be okay, Cameron? Sure. Awesome, sure. man. Awesome, man. My name is Joshua. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel, and your uh, dog here? Brutus. Brutus, beautiful uh, Rottweiler, right? Yes, sir. Of course, man. The one and only, right? <laughs> Daniel, what do you think about Bitcoin, man? Oh man, I think it's all right. I, I'm actually a little more interested in the altcoins right now. Really? Yeah. So you've got some portfolios going on, or? Yeah, I have. Uh, right now, my favorite coin is probably Monero, and uh, I like Pirate Chain a lot. Comment and subscribe, please. Back to the house. Man, I think crypto is the way of the future. You know, it's it's getting us away from the centralized currencies of governments and. I think that's why the governments don't like it is because they can't control it as easily. I don't know. I think Bitcoin will definitely double in value, but I, I think that it's going to be harder to do more than that. Okay. What, when do you have a time frame on the doubling, maybe? Uh, no, mm -hmm. I, I don't actually. Yeah. But I mean, it's already soared up to like 57,000 plus and yeah. you know, everyone thinks, you know, because the market caps just now surpassed a trillion, so it's definitely not impossible to to double to, that and do two trillion two trillion is not really out of the question especially when you consider the entire global population exactly hey hold that real quick man let me get this dog you know okay yeah. communicate to this dog man do they got bitcoin wait holy crap there's an actual live dog in there too how's your name ma'am joshua your name laura laura yes. hey laura what do you think about bitcoin definitely good investing. Oh, wow, so he, you guys have a little bit in your portfolio together. Yeah, definitely. That is awesome. Okay, and then about when do you think you guys heard about Bitcoin for the first time? Um, he probably heard about it, I don't know, several, couple to several years ago. Um, but like I said, I don't know much about it, but yeah. he checked most of the finances and investing and stock market stuff. What do you think the future of Bitcoin looks like? Um, I think it's, it's pretty positive. I think everything that is going that direction. So okay. cashless society, everybody trying to go that direction. So 
Uh, it's a good thing. Look. Wait. Hey. Wait. But actually, mine Ethereum too. Thank so. You. You mine Ethereum? Yeah. That's awesome, dude. What do you uh, What do you mine with? What, what's your uh, sus system look like? So I just have a gaming PC. Yeah. It has a 3090 in it, and uh, get about like 15 bucks a day, roughly. A couple hours outside of Micro Center for it. Like, yeah, how long ago did you pick that up? Uh, actually, just about a month ago. Okay, and so, then you saw profits just turn. Were you mining prior to that or not at all? No, I wasn't mining before that. I just, uh, okay. my friends are really into it, and they kind of told me just a little bit about it. And, I've been seeing they've been making a lot of money doing it. So. Yeah, with Ethereum. Yeah. More so than the, the Bitcoin train when it comes to the mining is kind of sailed pretty heavily. Am I right in saying that? Yeah, right now Ethereum is the most profitable coin to mine. So what okay. a lot of people do is if they don't necessarily like Ethereum, which I personally don't think it's a great coin. I don't yeah. think the tech behind it's great. Yeah. But I'll use what I mine to buy other cryptocurrencies. What do you think of Bitcoin, Officer Lyons? Come on, man. Get the picture. Go around me. Let me pull up. Breaking traffic laws, guys. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Sorry for breaking the traffic laws. No, you're good, man. All right, so join with Officer Lyons today. Hey, Officer Lyons, what do you think about Bitcoin? Uh, don't know a whole lot about it. Just recently started looking into it. Pretty good uh, theory behind it. Okay, and looking into it in terms of the technology, you're looking into it for the investment side? For the investment side. Very good. Okay, and do you have an investment portfolio already developed and this would just be like uh, another piece of it or? Uh, not yet, no sir. This would be your first investment? Yes. Wow, so when did you first hear about Bitcoin? Uh, through uh, a couple guys at work. A couple guys at work? Yeah. So it's starting to permeate through the... Yeah, they've, uh, uh, they've been doing it for a while. And... Really? About uh, 2017, 2016? Uh, yeah, roughly. I've done it for a while, and they've tried to explain it to me, and it's just one of those things. Language, yeah. a, a new emerging technology, and that's what brings me to go around. We have Elon Musk. Did you hear his new recent news today? I'd like to hear your opinion on this. This is what Elon Musk said today that when I receive bitcoins for those vehicles, I will not be tra transitioning that cash. I will hold it in Bitcoin. Really? What do you think about that as an as a officer of the law? Do you think that's like a little nefarious? I mean, I can see both sides of it. Yeah. Um, as far as where Bitcoin is now, to who knows where it'll be later. Yeah. But I mean, the way U.S. currency has always been. Yeah. So it's kind of, I see the good and the bad on both sides. So you see both sides of it. Yes. Okay, and then what would you say the future of Bitcoin looks like for society? Um, if it continues at this rate, it's gonna be the future. Gonna, okay. I've seen, I mean, it's got its up and down days. I mean, I'll kind of, like I said, just getting into it. Yeah, it's volatile, man. But um, it's got its ups and downs, but just like everything else does. Yeah. Have you heard about anything in Bitcoin in the Houston area in terms of, I don't know if you can talk about open investigation or anything, but has there been anything Bitcoin related with crimes at all in Houston? Uh, personally, I don't know of any, but I know that there we have a lot of classes out there with the cryptocurrency and all that. That I mean, it, it's So the team's there. being educated. Yeah, it, it's out there, but me personally, I've never come across anything. Is but, there a task force for crypto itself yet? Um, not that I know of. I just know that it's, I mean, they have some some bigger agencies, I would assume, have people okay. specialized yeah. in that kind of crime. Okay, and then obviously it goes up the ladder where if the FBI heard of something, next thing you know you'd have this oh, yeah. suit and tie showing up, right? Get it, get it passed on to the, to the higher ups. Okay, and Officer Lines, any chance that Bitcoin and crypto um, currency technology and blockchain, any chance that's God? I have to think about that one because that's it's kind of a deep question. I've never never put the two together. So okay. That's, a, that's something I'm about to think about. This is uh, Joshua Q with Officer Lyons. Hey, that feels great. I gotta say, and thank you for all that you do. Thank you for your service. Um, very much appreciated. Thank you for helping with this uh, development here. All the tax dollars that are going into this. You're making sure it's expedited, and uh, before long we'll be walking with a nice clean trail. Hey, that was episode nine of What the Bitcoin. These are daily uploads that I produce for you guys with me. Um, Blue helps a lot more than you guys would imagine. Um, she's actually my editor. So if you guys don't like any of that, just let me know. Anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. I very much look forward to making episode 10 for you guys tomorrow, Thursday, March 25th, 2021. Until then, 